There are several ways to embed an Adobe Edge Animate project into a web page. I'm going to outline two methods really quickly. Um, and one of them is very simple. One of them is just a little more complicated. Um, and both of them work just fine. Okay, so the first way we're going to do this is I've got a web page here that I've created. It's just got an image and it's got a little bit of text in it. And what I want to do is animate this image and have it fade in when the web page loads. So I've already saved my web page. So let's go over here um, under Adobe Edge Animate and let's load that web page. Uh, Adobe Edge Animate can load pretty much any web page that you can create. Um, and then you can animate the elements inside of that web page. So I've got my image right here and I've selected it and what I'm going to do is I want this image to fade in so I'm going to set this at zero right here and I'll go ahead and set a keyframe drag this over to the one second mark here and I'm going to go ahead and slide this over to 100 and now I'm going to get a fade in okay so again this image element that I put in this web page is now going to animate and it's going to fade in so let's go ahead and see what that looks like so I'll go ahead and say save here and I'll do a preview and there we are. Okay, so that's a very straightforward way to use Adobe Edge Animate uh, projects and web pages. It's basically create your web page and then either build your Adobe Animate project inside of your web page or take an existing image element and animate that element inside of your web page. All right, so that's very straightforward, very simple. All right, so now let's take a one, look at an option that's a little more complicated, but lets you do more stuff. So First of all, let me go ahead and open a uh, project that I created here. And this is a navigation bar that I've created that's got some buttons associated with it. And I've gone ahead and already animated one of the buttons here. So it basically is going to fade from gray to white. Okay. And I've got an action associated with this button. So let's go ahead and click on that. And the action I've got for mouse over is it's going to play this particular animation. All right, so that part's pretty straightforward. What I want to add is I want to add a click event so that when someone clicks on this, it opens a web page. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and click right here, say click, and then I'm going to say open URL. Now, by default, it will set the URL that the page is going to open as adobe.com, and you can change this to whatever you want. So you can open any other web page that you want, including a web page of your own, such as index.html or something like that. All right. And then right below, right next to it, is we've got something here that says self. And this is called a target. And what's going to happen is um, this button is going to target something inside of our web page. And we want to go ahead and change this. And you can name this whatever you want. Uh, make sure you don't have any spaces in the, in the name. And I'm going to call this one bottom frame. And I'm going to capitalize the F in here. So um, just keep in mind that capitalization does matter here. All right. So I'll close this out. So I've got this Adobe Edge Animate uh, project here. It's got this one uh, uh, bit of interactivity in it. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go over and look at what this will look like in Adobe uh, Dreamweaver. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what the code will look like for this. All right, so I've gone ahead and, and created the code for you already, but um, let me just walk you through what, what's going on here. Now, if you just want to embed an Adobe Edge project into a web page that you've already, that an Edge Animate uh, project that you've already created, you only need one line of code, and that's this line of code right here. Okay, so we're going to create something called an iframe. We're going to have the source, which is going to be our Adobe Edge Animate project web page. Uh, we're going to set a width um, and height to equal the width and height of that project, so it's 550 by 69. We're going to use the term seamless here, which means that there's not going to be a border around this iframe, so it's going to appear to be part of the web page itself. And then we're going to close that out. Okay? So just as one line of code is all you need if you want to take an existing Adobe Edge Animate project that you've already created and embed it in a web page. All right, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to have this nav bar controlling this web page. So I've added a second iframe here. Okay, and this iframe is going to initially load uh, www.ncsu.edu. So it's NC State's website. Um, 
is going to set a width and height for this iframe of 1024 by 800. And I just pulled this number out of thin air saying that this will probably fit our target web page fairly well. Okay. And then right below it, I've got um, bottom frame. And this is a target that we used earlier in our Adobe Edge Animate So what project. So what's going to happen now is this nav bar, when you click on it, is going to control this iframe down here. Again, seamless. Okay. So again, let's just now let's take a look and see how this is going to work. So I'm going to go under file and I'm going to say preview and browser. And let's see what happens here. All right, so I've got my nav bar up here, and when I mouse over it, sure enough, it changes like you would expect it to. When I click on the link, um, it loads the Adobe uh, website. And I haven't wired these two up yet, so only this one works. All right, let's go back and look at the code one more time. All right, so again, if you just want to embed an Adobe Edge Animate project that you've already created and just stick it in a web page and you don't have any interaction between it and the rest of your web content, all you need is this one line of code right here. However, in this example, I have my uh, navigation bar controlling the uh, content of the web page itself. So I've added the second iframe here. Okay, so what you're going to end up with is um, an, a page basically that just has these two lines of code in it. And uh, this is going to be your initial page that you're going to load. And uh, then what's going to happen is this nav bar is then going to change the content of the rest of your web page. Um, by um, adding stuff. And again, if you're just loading a page that you have, that you have stuff in it, then all you need is just this one line of code right here. All right, so hopefully this will help you out.